I wonder if the I wonder if the government is even smart enough to calculate all the different ways you can hide money. Like, what about money you contribute to, like, an IRA or some kind of investment plan? Or what if you've got, like, stock, op stock options or shit like that? Does that count? Or any other kind of reimbursement? Yeah, or that opens up whole... Or capital gains factored in. Like, there's so many different things. I don't know. Yeah. Every time you try and do something like that, it opens up a whole can of worms yeah. in, the, in the loopholes. And sometimes you just got to try and I do lost faith in the government to be able to understand anything having to do with economics and that whole housing crisis thing. It kind of seems like nobody knew... Well, I'm being nice in saying that, but nobody had any fucking idea what to do because they didn't understand anything. The alternative is they knew it was happening and they willfully screwed everybody over, but try to give them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're in team stupid and not team evil, I guess is what. I don't even know anymore, dude. There was a Daily Show thing about that. But I think that was, uh, that wasn't the government, that was Fox News. Waiting for the, uh, waiting for those uh, lawyers to come down on the credit rating, those credit rating agencies. I'm sure it's coming soon, right? Maybe. Any day now. Any day. <laughs> that federal oversight. Hey, at least we didn't go to war with Syria. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm proud of that. I'm very happy that my country didn't start a war with another country this year. Holy shit, that would have been really, really disappointing. I do enjoy typing random things into your Twitch chat, knowing that I'm the only one that can do it. There's always the occasional sad guy that subscribes. Some guy did it earlier. And Are they? Starts talking, not realizing that, yeah. No, no one's there. Yeah, I started talking to one of those people who was like, hey, what's up? I think, yo, chat. I'm, listen up, okay? This is what I think. I think you could fix every single problem with the government if you just made it so that the federal government provides, like, an annual spending budget for politicians to campaign on, and that's the only money they can use to campaign. How sick would that be? The government provides it? Yeah, there's just, like, a federal fund of, like, fucking, <clears throat> so, like, everybody can only spend, like, X thousands of dollars I, per year on average. I can get behind the idea of it, but right now, the, does the government spend any money on people campaigning? I, I think there's a minimum budget, a minimum campaign budget available for the presidential election. But I mean, like, election. most, the vast majority of the money they get comes from... Probably. I mean, I would be willing for my tax money to go to that to avoid the entire businesses paying for politicians to run. I mean, I'm, I'm okay paying a little bit more if it means that... I would have to see the numbers, but I could get behind that. If the numbers made sense, I could get behind that, because... I think, I feel like all the good things could happen if you just got, like, the money out of the politics side. Like, the lobbying and shit. Well, or not the yeah. lobbying, but, like, the, uh, just people needing money to make it into a political office. Like, fucks over so many things. As much as I hate them, I almost wonder if they don't get paid enough, because it brings up so much... Who doesn't get paid enough? When you look at Congress, it's like they do a... Well, no, it's just that you have I to be careful. Of... You've got to make sure that you represent your constituents well. And by constituents, I mean the businesses that give you money. Because if you don't, yeah. then you're never going to make it in re-election. Like, that's the, but that's the, like same... one of the biggest... Fuck what does a member of Congress get paid? Like, 180,000, 100 some thousand Their a year? Their salary is negligible because they're all rich going in anyway. <laughs> I suppose that's somewhat Fucking true. Fucking how much money like... does Mitt Romney have in his IRA? Like, $100 million? Like, their salaries is bullshit. For well, most of the them. Governor. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Really the one thing I have heard is that it's not like DC is such an expensive place to have even a house in that it's like, yeah, but do the majority of them even live in DC? I thought they all live in whatever and they just fly out for they the have to fucking, Yeah, but they have to fucking stay somewhere and it's not like they get free hotel rooms or anything. You don't think that hotel rooms aren't included as part of their. No. To, to be a hotel room for 200, year, 200, uh, 200 days a year or whatever they're there for, well, probably not that much, but I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. I wonder if, if they got paid more, if it would... I mean, I could be completely wrong. That is that is a total possibility. But if they're making crap money for the job they do, and they have all this power to, you know, 
I'm abuse pretty sure it. American politicians are in like the upper 05 percent of income earners. I mean, you think so? I don't know. I just like when I watched 60 Minutes. I think a week ago there was a, a basically an article or you know something about how they basically abuse a lot of campaign spending funds. Sure. And how how they do that through just. The, I, think they, I think they're called leadership packs. I want to say. Yeah. It's not, yeah. And the crazy like nepotism or whatever, where you got like family members who are all like part of your yeah. campaign and shit. Yeah, that was one thing. Apparently, Ron Paul had like five people from his family that he was paying like six fifty to seventy thousand dollars a year or something like that. Very nice. Out of campaign funds, so yeah. Pretty sad about that. But... I mean, I'm just, I guess what I'm trying to get at is if you were a, a stand up congressman and it, would ju and it just sucked because you didn't make a ton of money and it's like you can't really afford to live in DC. That's a really shitty position to be in. I don't believe that for a second, though. That would, I mean, I guess, I guess the problem there is that it, it assumes that there are congressmen who are 100% stand up and don't really abuse anything, which I can see there being 0% of that. I think Dota 2 Hero is either Chen or Lone Druid right now. For that guy. I miss playing Chen with a team though. My win rate with Chen as a team was like 70%, and then I kept playing it, but my friend stopped playing Dota for a while, and it, now it's like 40, and it's really bad. But I still like Chen. Poker's so much fun, but I'm bad at that game. Invoker. Invoker is so much fun. Oh. Like you just get an Ag Scepter so you can invoke spells every two seconds, and you just try and invoke shit as fast as you can and just throw it out there and fight. You feel like such a beast when you get the great right combo and just have the words to cut the fight. But I'm bad at that here. So much fun. Is this fire done before? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm pretty fucked. I lost. <laughs> My bling blings did not do the damages that I needed them to do. And this matchup is just fucking worst. I guess I was trying to get at earlier is that it would suck. To, it might suck to be a legitimate congressman. It sucks to be a legitimate congressman, and that's a problem. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. Sure. Whereas it's easy to be a corrupt congressman and make a whole bunch of money. But you're right. I don't know how. I don't know what the percentage of people who are just guilty rich coming in are. It's time for the Google's call. All right, I'm gonna play a new game this game. What's this? Oh, is this gonna be? Are you just gonna try and take over the map with four colors and spine Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Um, Google average, Google like average congressman's net worth or something. Hmm. Yeah. Does 
anything even come up to that? Yeah, if this is true, then I have no ground to stand on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the... Hold on, let me guess. Let me guess, let me guess. Is there, like, one solid number? Well, it says, like, there's there's not much... Like, there's... I don't know where these numbers are coming from, but there is a line graph here, and for Cong for senators, it's it looks like about 11 million. Okay. And for House, Rep House of Representatives, it looks like about six and a half to seven. So what you're saying so is that they did have more money, maybe. <laughs> so there's a potential that I have no fucking ground to stand on, and that my argument is totally flawed. It is, it is a distinct and likely possibility. That's why I thought it was dumb when some senators were like, oh, well, the government isn't functioning, so I'm going to forego my pay now. And it's like, wow, dude, like, you're so amazing that you're, you, with all your infinite fucking money, can forego an itty bitty believe, paycheck that means nothing to you that you're going to get reimbursed for anyway when you do reopen the government. Like, I believe the technical internet term is so brave. So brave, Kyle. <laughs> I've never seen politicians with such bravery before in my entire life. Command. This is even fresh, even freshman members of Congress, their net worth is one million more than the average household. Nice. So, okay, I, I stand by the, I stand by my argument that if it sucks to be, if it sucks to be uh, a like a straight up member of Congress, then that's a problem. But the fact that they're all rich going in is probably a bigger problem. Oh shit, Kyle! He stopped making mutas, Kyle! Fuck! What is he making? Why? Why? Oh. Are you about to get out? Oh, there it is. What? I saw the, the floating. The slow moving green blobs of doom. Um, I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> this is so stupid. Steve, this looks like the most fun way to play ZBZ ever. I agree. If my opponent is frustrated, I'm having a good time. I don't know about you. So on a scale from 1 to 14, how many bases do you think he has right now? Let's see, are there 14 bases on the map? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh no, six, he's four. going the Swarmhost route. So there's 12 bases on the map. Wait, why would he get Swarmhost if you have muted? He's relying... Because he's going to oh, force got... me to engage. Oh. This is like a Protoss. He's just like building a for the reunit. Like, I don't know. We'll just add some corruptors. Why not? You know what we need? Seven roaches. Or we can just move. <laughs> yeah. I suppose actually, no, I suppose that's a, that's a good response against this spot. I uh, guess. Fine crawlers. Now you have to do something. Fuck. All right, Kyle. It's fucking go time. Wish me luck, okay? Good luck, sir. Actually, never mind. I'm way too fucking scared. He has no upgrades for his air units, Kyle. If I spread out enough. Four groups of mutas. He 
really are. Alright, are you channeling Kyle? I am. Promise? I believe. I believe right now. All, All right, you I'm need gone. to do is I'm gone. Be the arc. There you go. First and foremost. Are they still on the ground? Yeah, they are. Oh, you just lost me this for three, though. Yeah, I did. forgot about that group. It's hard when you guys aren't all in one group. Oh, look at the free swarm hosts. Oh, so good. Look at all that experience. I don't have that much experience. Whoa, whoa, your chat needs to chill the fuck out. Steve is still behind on bases. Are they calling GG? Because <laughs> it's not even well, close to GG. Maybe that's, maybe, maybe that's just a guy that needs to chill the fuck out. Oh, he's only on four bases, Kyle. He sure is, but you're not on four bases, sir. Decided to start upgrading his area units yet. Oh, I got these spines right in here. <laughs> We're all set up for this game, Kyle. <laughs> We're ready to go. Do you think he's upgrading his air units yet? Because I had a huge air upgrade advantage. I don't know. I mean, the fact that he doesn't, he didn't upgrade them before means that he is unpredictable. Oh, oh fuck me, he's 1-1. One, one. Kyle. It's no, it's not, not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I take it back, I take it back. <laughs> I'm going back home. Fuck. I just don't see how you can outplay your opponent consistently in this matchup, and that just makes me real sad. Yeah, that's pretty hard. The linearity, linearity of how mutalists work make it. Pretty hard. Do you think I could just fight that mutable, Kyle? Um, I'm not very good at estimating <laughs> how many mutas that is. I can't tell, Kyle. At I want to say time, I could do it. 
Fuck, I want to so bad, Kyle. What's your upgrade? Do you have an upgrade advantage? As soon as my second attack upgrade finishes, I'll go in, okay? Then I'll have an upgrade advantage. It's slight, okay. but it's there. Might be enough. You should group. I still think you should get Overlord speed and like put all your Overlords with your mutas. You're right. Fucking Gotta absorb it. the bounces. Gotta absorb the bounces. It's you're like, right. It's like, no, it's like one muta. You're right, you're right. I'm doing That's it. the next level right there. That's the next level. I'm at the next level, Kyle. Well, this is a level after that. Oh shit, it's fucking one in the morning. One in the morning? God damn. I've been sleeping really poorly lately. Why? Just taking, like, going home and sleep, like, taking a nap in the middle of the day, that shit sucks. I need to stop, but yeah, you it's do hard. Well. Alright, the Overlord speed upgrade is done. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. We're at that level now, Kyle. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Now you just need that straight head on engagement. The overlords come in, they tank all the bounces. And then we win the games. Alright, I'm ready. We're gonna do it. Right here. Right here. See, he's scared. He's totally scared of your overlords. Oh god. What if he's like remember... backing up into infestors? Then you might have a problem. But we're not gonna think that far ahead, we're just gonna believe. Because that's what we normally do. Oh, he just next leveled you. I wanna see. Oh, look at this. Kyle, we're, we're doing it. <laughs> the overlords. <laughs> I want to see this in professional games where it's just fucking 30 overlords flying behind the mirror pack. The overlords, Kyle! <laughs> Tank of the bounces. Actually, you want them over here. Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. Easy win. Easy game, easy life. I told you, I told you this like the last time I saw this, and you were like, no, Kyle, that'll never fucking work. <laughs> well, look, they're not even fucking like. Oh, they look at how much damage. Uh. They all took like 20. Oh damage. my god, I have all the spines! I've been ready to play this game my whole life! <laughs> He's so mad! <laughs> I want to see this in pro games. I want to see a giant cloud of overlords. It reminds me of like Brood War when we play maps with infinite minerals and you just like get bored. Max the map, you, Kyle. You max the map. Gotta max the map. <laughs> NR20. What the fuck, guys? The map is maxed already. <laughs> oh, it sucked maxing the map at Zerg though, because your fucking shit didn't produce larva. It's hard. All right, he's making me waste time, Kyle. Yeah, and you've only got the Overlord advantage for so long. He's yeah. gonna realize it and then make Overlords of his own. Oh shit! I found his Overlords. He's got speed too, Kyle. He was gonna try to do it. He's fucking. He's copying my next level strats. Oh, but he's already got the mutants. Got this shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah. How come no one has thought of this before? 
Call of the Overlords. See, Steve, when, when, when you max on Mutas, you have to turn all the Overlords into Overseers so they can actually keep up with the Mutas. I can, use, I can brute force win games with my amazing computer by dropping 4 million changelings just lagging the opponent out. <laughs> I guess. <laughs>